She's losing her appetite. She used to eat really good. Like she's not, she wasn't a picky eater. Luz Copeland sensed something was wrong with her daughter Isabel. She just didn't know how serious it was. Then they told me that they could see something and then they took more blood tests that there's something different from her blood test. They what did. doctors found was a word tough for anyone to hear, cancer. The tumor was primarily in the stomach and it had already spread in her bones and bone marrow. Isabel's type of cancer is rare. It's called neuroblastoma, but Columbus Children's doctors were well equipped to handle her case. Inside the hospital's own research institute is the largest international tissue bank. It holds close to a half million samples of cancer cells from pediatric patients around the world. It grows every day. Uh, more and more specimens come in every day uh, from uh, children with cancer from around the world. And we certainly get inquiries on a weekly to monthly basis from the United Kingdom, Europe, and even Australia. These international requests are by doctors trying to find the best future medicines with tissue testing and trials. For tissue, investigators around the world can request a slice of a sample about the size of a thumbnail to research medical possibilities. When it comes to trials, Children's Hospital is part of a nationwide network called the Children's Oncology Group, or COG, taking the lead on advancements in childhood cancer survival rates through clinical trials. Childhood cancer was once considered a nearly fatal disease. Statistics show it is now 77% curable. And for patients now, investigators use those tiny samples to test for the best possible medicine to treat an individual condition. Luz keeps in close contact with Isabel's doctors. So that way we can make arrangements and we don't have to waste any time. This five-year-old Hilliard girl has fought her disease with chemotherapy, surgery, and a bone marrow transplant. Happy birthday to you. Still learning the ins and outs of being a kid. Hey, happy birthday to you. Little Isabel uses her toys to temporarily take her away from reality. And thanks to tests on cells too small to see with the naked eyes, that reality is looking better every day.